So I'm standing in front of Okudaya. It's in Sakae, in the heart of the fashion kind of luxury area of Nagoya. And this is probably one of Nagoya's best kept secrets. It's a place that uh, I haven't heard of until coming here maybe three or four times. This is my third time coming here. And they have probably one of the best motsunabe or kind of a beef intestine stew. And their miso flavor stew is my favorite. And we'll go inside, check it out, and I'll let you know what I think. I'm sitting here in front of this amazing dish, rolled eggs, an egg roll. They use a pan and they just roll the eggs. But inside this particular egg roll, uh, they call it tamagoyaki, uh, there's mentaiko or pala roll. And as you can see here, there's a little dollop of, a, a big dollop of mayonnaise, Japanese mayonnaise. It's on a garnish of shiso or frilla leaf. And I am going to dig in here. Check this out. Wow. The, the Pollock Row is really good. It's really tasty. It's, you can taste the ocean saltiness. And then the egg on the outside offers this kind of texture. And of course, a nice eggy flavor. Really good. I don't even want to dip it in the mayonnaise. This dish right here, it's a phenomenal dish. Um, it's called Gyu Maki Kotate. This slice of beef and wrapped around a scallop. And as you can see, there's a lemon on here and I definitely have to squeeze some on this before I try it. It's been grilled. This one is, look how big this, look how big that is. Almost as big as my hand. Mmm. 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 Really fresh. Oh my god. The juices of the beef just really penetrate into this scallop. I don't even want to talk right now. Wow, that was a really good bite. There, there was like this really big piece of fat that was attached to the beef, and that just added a burst of flavor into my mouth. Um, the scallop is really fresh. It's really soft. And it's, it's almost, it's almost raw. It's almost raw. I don't think it needs any kind of dip or sauce or anything. It's just perfect the way it is. Wow. Wow. So this is why we've come to Okudaya is to have motsunabe. And I know some of you are thinking, why are you eating motsunabe in Nagoya? Uh, motsunabe is actually from Fukuoka. Um, it's in Kyushu Prefecture. But this place makes motsunabe like I've never tasted it before. I mean, I've been to Fukuoka before. I've had the motsunabe there. I was very impressed with the motsunabe there, but here, at this place, I am very impressed with it. They serve it to you already hot. They put it on this uh, portable stove, this gas stove, on your table. The soup broth of the uh, motsunabe in Japan is more, it's a thicker soup, a creamier soup. As you can see here, they've garnished it with nira very beautifully. Uh, nira is a uh, Chinese chive. And uh, they have peppers on top, and I'm going to give this a try now. Wow, how do I go about this? They've given you two ladles, one with holes, just so that you can get the motsu, or the intestines, and then the other one, so you can get the soup. But uh, we'll wait for the soup for later, and I'll explain why. This is so beautiful, I don't even want to do anything to it. Uh, there, there are sesame seeds sprinkled on top, there's cabbage, and I'm just going to try one. And I'll try a piece of cabbage too. Right, let's dig in. 
If you see this uh, intestine here, it's really soft. There's still some of this uh, connective tissue. It's mostly fat, it looks like, and then the intestine that's lining it. You might be grossed out by it, but when you taste this, it will taste like nothing you've ever had before. Mm. Wow. Every time, so consistent. I'm not usually a fan of hormone. Um, in Japan, they really like a dish called horomon. And it's just intestines and it's so chewy that you can't finish chewing it. But this motsunabe, it just kind of dissolves in my mouth. It has such a creamy, meaty flavor. I know why Fukuoka has this as their specialty. It's just incredible. It's just incredible. I try one of the other piece of cabbage here. Mm. The cabbage is not overcooked. It's still hard. It's sweet. It has a green vegetable flavor. Mm. Some of this Chinese chive. The Chinese chive is also not overcooked. Gotta come here to get this. Gotta come here. This is what you come here for. It's nothing else, no other reason. This is it. And I gotta try the soup. So you, you don't wanna drink all the soup at first because at the end they have something called shime and it means to close out a dish. And they give you all sorts of different options like cheese risotto and rice and ramen and other stuff like that. But I'm gonna try some of the soup in my bowl here. The soup just because there's so much sesame seeds on top, they're roasted sesame seeds. You got the flavor of sesame seeds and the flavor of the motsu itself. Mm. It's it's sweet, and there is the flavor of umami. It has amazing umami taste, and it is not a fake one that's from MSG. It's definitely come from the boiling of bones and in the broth. And the umami on this is, it's just so natural and it comes so slow and smoothly. Get this, get this one. I'm here with our shime, or our last dish. They used the incredible umami rich broth of the Matsumi Nabe to put in mentaiko, which is the pollock row and rice and they mixed that together cooked it together so now the rice is infused with the broth that we were eating before as you can see here they put very thinly sliced seaweed or nori and green onions chopped uh, it looks incredible i'm gonna go and dig in here go at this with my spoon here Oh, it's creamy. It's creamy. It's very creamy. Get a little bit more here. And this is really hot. You can see the pollock roll laced throughout. Um, it looks as though they've also cooked it with an egg as well. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's egg inside. Wow. The flavor of the Motsunabe, the soup, the broth uh, is definitely in here. And then the textural palette of the um, the pollock row, it's just little, these little pops in my mouth. Really flavorful, extremely flavorful. What a good way to close out a dinner. A very fine, fantastic dinner.